Uh, in this lecture, we'll work on the examples of law of sine. And this is the law of sine, uh, sine uh, angle over the opposite side, uh, sine this angle over this side, equals sine beta this angle over the opposite side, and then equals sine gamma over the opposite side, see. Uh, that's the law of sine. And then alpha beta together is 180 degrees. Always remember when you find out sine alpha, the value h over c, h over c. If you find out h over c is sine alpha, then alpha has two cases. Uh, one is this alpha, another one, this alpha is 180 degrees minus that. Okay, we'll use this. Alright, okay, let's move back to this question. Uh, this question is that in a triangle we are given an angle gamma and two sides. And then we want to find out another three. That basically we need another two angles and one side. Okay, so let's work on that. Uh, you know, here we have a C, we have a gamma. So then we need to find out uh, sine alpha. Okay, that's the case. And sine alpha over A. Alpha always goes with A, huh? Equals sine gamma over C. Yeah. Now what we need is, uh, here is we need sine alpha, okay? If we have a sine alpha, then we know alpha. Okay, so then sine alpha is A, times sine gamma over C. A times sine gamma over C. Okay, what is our A? A is given 17.34. Okay, it's given. Uh, you may want to mark here 17.34. Gamma seventy one point seven degrees and C is then twenty point two two. So if you know the value, you then can find out sine alpha by cross multiplication. Alright. So that's thirteen point uh, seventeen point three four times Sine gamma is 71.7 degrees, okay, and then divide it. Divided by C is 20.22. Now, let's figure out this value, okay. Uh, clear the screen. 17.34 times sine 71.7 degrees okay, divided by 20.22 20.22 okay, here's the end you then have uh, the value which is point eight one four one eight one four one nine five seven three six uh, eight one four one nine five seven three six. Let's put this one into the storage. 
into the variable z. Uh, so it's in z now. Okay, then alpha would be equal to what? Would be equal to the sine inverse this value, point eight one four one nine five uh, seven three six. Okay, that will be uh, the angle. So then you do, you will do sine inverse, and then it was in Z, so I can recall this value. And hit enter, so I then have a 54.8 five zero seven nine one five five four approximately is fifty four point five one oh. fifty four point five one yeah so we have the first angle alpha uh, you may want to mark it we are so glad to have the first answer be correct. Probably one point. Ah. All right. Now, we know alpha plus beta plus gamma is 180 degrees. Okay. And then, from here, we have our alpha is here. Do we have a gamma? Right there, here. Here's my look. 71.7 and then hmm, beta comes out okay now 54 uh, let me store this 54 do I need alpha? yeah probably I don't need alpha oh. yeah I may only need better. So in this way I can use this number plus this number 54.51 plus 71.7 okay so let me add those two 71.7 degrees yeah. this is the uh, middle answer middle steps uh, and then I want to store this one into a variable, let's say y. Okay. Store over there. So 180 minus the sum of those two. Huh? So you use mm, 180 minus second recall. So then we then have a uh, beta comes out that's 180 minus the sum of uh, 54.51 plus 71.7 Mm. That's how many? That will be fifty three point seven nine. Okay, so put seven nine here. Seven nine. Okay. Now this would be the second answer we needed. Ah. So let me put two down here. You see, previously we have a one angle, gamma. We have then first angle, a second angle, and third angle. Okay. Now we need is B. 